Hi, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to give you an update on how to hang your lead rope weight when you're lead rope soloing. Um, one of the problems when you're lead rope soloing is that sometimes you will have some back feed. What happens is you will get uh, a lot of rope going between you and your belay anchor at the bottom of the climb just because of your lead rope weight. So there's two options in that case to prevent the back feed. One, you increase the weight on the dead side of the rope or in your cash loop or you suspend the lead rope weight so it doesn't pull down as much. I've come after many years of practice with four methods that I would use and would recommend during your climbs. So the first method is one that I often use at the beginning of the climb when there's a ledge or an obvious rest spot where I have both hands to organize something. Typically, I anchor my rope at the bottom of the climb and then I climb maybe five, six meters um, and then I do that trick. So let's say this is a bolt and I have a good rest and so it's the beginning of the climb and I want to make sure that I don't have any back feed in that part of the climb. So I clip the quick draw, then I can clip my lead rope normal, okay? I can uh, just make sure that I clip uh, the good rope and I see it's going to the anchor and it's going to me. I want to get that rope tight. So I take a 60 centimeter soon sling and I will do a friction knot. So I can do uh, a prusik, prusik loop uh, friction hitch uh, with just one wrap so this is sufficient to uh, hang the rope weight but it will slide if you pull hard and then with that carabiner that is on the sling I just clip at the top part of the quick draw. I will just pull like this but I I have to be careful that if it comes out, I don't fall uh, backward to the ground, you know. But so I pull like this really hard and I push my friction nut like this and then it keeps the tension. And now, because there's not too much rope between the anchor and this prusik knot um, and that I have some rope here also. If I do a lead fall, so on this piece of protection, um, my rope will be able to stretch. So I will not do a factor two fall on this piece of protection. And because it's a single wrap, I hope that if it gets to the carabiner here, you see it slides it slides so it, it's not um, taking my weight and also even if it goes all the way on the other side of the carabiner there I will have to get the stretch to come all the way here in order for the friction hitch to uh, get some of the weight um, so that never happened to me, very far from that. And recently I've had some wet condition, uh, frozen ropes, and uh, the single wrap prusik was not the best. So you do one wrap here, and I do a second wrap 
second wrap there and then I put my carabiner right in that loop that the loop is towards the anchor so and then I make sure it's all tidy and very well done like this okay this is perfect and then I pull towards uh, this piece of protection like this and I can pull hard and push and this knot uh, has the reputation to grab in this direction but uh, if it gets pushed in the other direction or even pulled hard uh, like this it might slip so I think it can be a good knot too. Then the second method when I get to a stance where also I have both hands to work with I can just do a slip knot so the way I do it is I clip my quick draw to a good piece of protection and then I push the lead rope on the spine of the carabiner is ideal you'll see why and then I go around and in the loop created there to do the slip knot and then I reduce the loop size of the slip knot when it's really well tied up and pulled towards the anchor and you'll see that because I went towards the spine of the carabiner and not or the gate side uh, the loop is on the back of the carabiner and so it cannot clip itself to that carabiner that would be a problem and and that way with this system uh, if I ever fall uh, on this piece of protection it will undo the slip knot and so I will do a regular lead fall lead rope solo fall and not a factor two and also when I'm further up in the climb if I no longer need this knot I can just pull and it will undo the slip knot uh, from far up there so I like this system a lot and then I have two methods that I can use when I have just one hand available and I want to fly it's hard and I need just to clip and be done with it the first one I will show you is by Matty Skinner thank you so much Matty Skinner because you sent me those accessories so that I can try and I can show the world and you've done some for a couple of people and the, everyone likes it and also a uh, clamp so this is uh, the rubber accessory by Maddie Skinner this is the version 1 it's all rubber 3d printed and this one is the same but it has a ball bearing here in stainless steel that is embedded in the plastic I, I think uh, the new one should be able to hold the rope better let's see how it works so the old one you're hanging on your arm and you need to clip quick you put the right quick draw with uh, the rubberized finger there and then you clip and you pull and that's when the rope goes under the finger and it it's held now um, what i found is if i go higher and i do a lead fall it will typically uh, un undo this rubberized uh, system so it's it's not to stay a long time like this depending on what's happening with the rope it undoes itself so this is what happened to me a couple of times but anyway uh, you need that rope support for a certain distance and then you will do another method to support the lead rope typically so it's good enough okay and it's really good so that's the first version but now if I do the same with the new version uh, with the ball bearing in stainless steel 
if it pulls from under, it seems like it's not going anywhere now. It's, uh, it's really a good design. I have to practice with it more and revert. Uh, thanks, Maddie Skinner. Contact him on Facebook Messenger. Uh, you'll find him uh, Arctic Bastards on YouTube also. Um, that's it. And then the last but not least, I don't know where I put my small clamps. Uh, maybe I lost them. Uh, in the end, I had two of them. They come from triangle things for uh, pants and you just cut the ends that uh, have clamps and they are the right size and they cannot damage your rope. But these, they are from the hardware store. So this is the original and I played with a tether so I don't lose them if they unclip. But this one, you see, I put just some uh, tape uh, right there for this video right now. I didn't try that um, modified version, but I think it's uh, what you should be looking for. It's a clamp that where the rope cannot go really far and that cannot damage the rope also. So no metal parts. You just grab a regular quick draw you're hanging for dear life you clip your rope okay and you you try to have as little slack in the system as possible so maybe you'll be pulling on this rope there with your teeth maybe or you will just not care about having a little bit of rope and this clamp you can clamp it just on the harness like this and when you need it you just take it put it on the rope um, after the carabiner and because it's just big enough okay it doesn't have to be huge like this one but it will never go back towards the belay station and because there's the tape there then when you clamp it it stays on the rope like the first time you try it and this is really ideal so I do it again just so you get a feeling of how much time it takes me so I hang on for dear life take my quick draw clip my rope like this reach for the clamp put the clamp and just climb that's it. Like there's a little bit of slack, no problem, no big deal. So that's four methods. The first one is the Prusik with the, with the 60 centimeter soon sling. Uh, the second one is the Slipknot. The third one is Matty Skinner Arctic Bastard uh, rubberized finger. And the fourth one is just a clamp. Uh, that's it. That's the four methods. There's lots of other things you'll find on the web, but I suspect that if you live with the other methods long enough, you will prefer these four methods. I hope you like this video. Please push the like button, subscribe to my channel, and go see my online rope solo courses on my website blissclimbing.com. Enjoy, guys.